Look at the celebrating over on Twitter for the fact that there are now female versions of every main Avengers character. Like, this is the direction that is really going to just make the new Marvel landscape that much better. So, Captain Carter, Mighty Thor, Ironheart, She-Hulk. This is still, Black Widow was always a female, so this really isn't, this really isn't a change. Though, I guess it's a new female version. Then, of course, Fake Eye. Black Panther, Shuri, and Doctor Strange's up-and-coming wife. Well, it's his ex-wife in the comics right now, but there you go. So the new, better, improved versions right there. And that's going to be the future of the MCU. Now, I want to move on to Hollywood still kind of MCU-related, because we have Dana Schwartz back in headlines again. CBS developing comedy series Talk Nerdy to Me from Dana Schwartz, Dan Hernandez, and Benji Samet. Now, here's what's funny about this, because this is another great example of Hollywood types failing upwards. What do I mean by that? Well, the fact that Dana Schwartz is now getting another comedy series, should tell you something, because She-Hulk is an unfunny, giant pile of shit. Not a funny show. It's an awful show. And to be honest, it's a disastrous show for Marvel because it barely was in the top 10 Nielsen ratings chart, except maybe once at the end, and that's only because it had... How many ever episodes that show had? Like nine or ten episodes? I don't know. I didn't watch She-Hulk. I watched a lot of the supposed funny clips and quotations and some of the cringe that was all over social media, which was enough to tell me why that show was such a catastrophic failure. So that show, nobody watched it. Never made ratings until the end, and that's only because it had a certain amount of minutes that they could finally add up to get it on the damn list. So that show, in my opinion, and many other people's opinions, is a catastrophic failure. So what do they do? Well, oh, Dana Schwartz, perfect. Let's move her up to another series. This is failing upward. This is the main problem with Hollywood. You want to know why so much content from Hollywood is dog shit, this is why. You take someone who's not a good writer, not funny, and you promote them to a geek comedy show because she wrote She-Hulk, a show that was a failure. So this is failing upwards. Don't forget that she has such hot takes like South Park needs to be canceled. Remember that where she was complaining about South Park and how raunchy and nasty it is? So, now she's getting another series. When unfunny, untalented people, I guess they don't need to be funny, we'll just say untalented people, get moved up to different properties every time they come off of a failure that's failing upwards, and this is a big problem in Hollywood. This 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 is the number one reason why Hollywood is dog shit right now. Because they keep taking these people that come off of fallen projects that really don't deserve any praise. Like She-Hulk does not deserve praise. The show's a failure. But they'll take them off of that show, and they'll move them on to another one. Now, this sh- I, I do believe that Gotham Knights is canceled on the CW. Everything's getting canceled on the CW right now, but that was another good example. So Batwoman, awful show, garbage show, some of the worst ratings I've ever seen. They took... They canceled Batwoman, and they took the writers, the producers, everybody, and moved them to Gotham Knights. That's, the, that's truly the best example of failing upward. But this, this, is, this is another great example of Hollywood sticking its head up its own ass. So exclusive, the single-camera comedy series Talk Nerdy to Me, which... I promise you, ladies and gentlemen, won't get a second season. 
And then they'll take Dana Schwartz and they'll put her on another show too, by the way. She's a talented writer. I want that young woman on another show. Created by writer and produ- and podcaster Dana Schwartz. Oh, so she created this show. Excuse me. The single camera comedy series Talk Nerdy to Me created by writer and podcaster Dana Schwartz. Oh, she's a podcast. I'm going to have to go listen to her podcast. She-Hulk attorney at law is an early development at CBS. Deadline has learned the project is produced by Dan Hernandez and Benji Salmon under the overall deal at Disney Television Studios. Oh, another example. Bob Chapik uh, cleaning out the woke, playing 7D chess. Talk Nerdy to Me is a workplace comedy about two sisters navigating the landscape of female geekdom together from two different perspectives. Schwartz executive produces with Hernandez and Samet via their Hermit House banner. Oh, they have a company. Oh, here's the rise of another bad robot right here. It's going to be uh, produced through ABC Signature. And uh, that's the studio working on it. Schwartz is the author of the New York Times bestselling novel, Anatomy, A Love Story. Oh, that sounds interesting which was released in January. She is best known as the host and creator of the iHeartRadio podcast, Noble Blood. Recently, Schwartz wrote on the Marvel series She-Hulk, Attorney at Law on Disney+. Her fifth book, Immortality, A Love Story, will be released in February. Oh, I bet you these are uh, are big hits. doesn't take much to make the New York Times bestselling list, by the way. It's really based on a bunch of people picking what they like. So just because it's on that list doesn't mean it actually sold very well. So there you go. A sad day for Hollywood indeed. Uh, Speaking of Disney and failures, just wanted to touch on this real quick because it's, it's, it's a desperate move. Andor, which is a Star Wars series nobody is watching, is now going to be moved to Hulu, ABC, and FX Freeform. So they're actually going to broadcast the streaming show. And they're putting on other streaming services now that Disney owns, by the way, uh, to try to get people to watch this show because it's supposed to be amazing. I don't know. I'm not watching it. And they're so desperate now because this show is such a catastrophic failure. They're going to put it on multiple websites now and they're going to actually broadcast it on regular TV. This is a desperate sign to me, and it's showing you just how much they're panicking in the background trying to figure out how to get people to actually watch this show. This is, this is really bad for the Star Wars brand for a lot of reasons. I, the fact that no one's watching this and it's praised so much is, should be scaring them because... What does this mean for shows like The Acolyte? That's the next show that's coming out that doesn't have any original characters in it. And this time, it's not even based in the original trilogy like this one is. Acolyte is based off of The High Republic. You think the ratings for this show are bad? Wait till the ratings of this show come out. This is just, if this had came out 10 years ago, everybody would be watching it. But nobody's watching it now because of the damage that Disney has done to this brand. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and my locals, especially my locals. If you use the code FLASH, you can get a free month as a supporter. It's free to sign up, but you get some some really cool benefits by using that code, and you can check out how awesome the locals community is. So use the code FLASH and sign up. I'd love to see you over there, chat with you. Anyway. That's it. Let me know what you guys think. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters So you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. 
You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.